All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. All right, so last night at the Halo Championship event, the studio formerly known as 343 Industries um, announced their future plans for the Halo franchise. So, first, um, they're rebranding. 343 Industries is rebranding as Halo Studios. They've officially changed their name um, to Halo Studios as a part of a broader effort to refocus the future of the Halo franchise. Of course, we know um, the past, I don't know exactly how many years of Halos has had a lot of ups and downs, more downs than ups. So this seems to be like their new age, their new dawn, as we've seen in some of the uh, press releases. Um, so first I'll speak on that. So I typically don't like when studios change their name to the uh to the name of the game um that they're working on that they develop i don't know it kind of just makes me feel like you're absolutely beholden to that one game and that and and that might be their plan it it it's it's seeming so based on the, the statement that they're just going to be all about halo and they're never going to be anything else now granted i have been told like for example sonic team um, even though they're the Sonic team that they do work on other games, but the Sonic games is, is their main focus, but it is just, I don't know, like what if eventually in the future, like even if it's in the far distant future, you want to work on another game and that eventually becomes your main franchise, right? But you're the Halo team because I don't think, I don't think like Halo is like this absolute like it's a staple it's still it's st uh, still a staple we know it's not um at the height of popularity it's it once was but i don't think halo is this uh just just m this monument in gaming anymore where it's impossible to see a future without it i think that's entirely possible like to uh, that eventually halo ceases new entries of halo ceases to exist i think that's entirely po possible for the future and i don't see anything wrong with that right i don't think games a, a franchise and series ending is any indictment on the series. I think that's just a natural progression of things. So I just look at it. And I'm like, what if y'all want to do something else eventually? Right. Um, and, and you're just beholden to this name, but I guess like, that's how they see the future is that it, they're all about halo. Um, the other thing is, I think it adds a certain level of pressure and maybe that pressure is good since you're, you seem to be all in on this g game and, and revitalizing it. Um, but it, it's similar to the Sonic team where y'all are the Sonic team, but y'all struggle to even make amazing Sonic games most of the time. Um, so it's, I think about the situation, like, listen, I'm being optimistic for them, but what if y'all put out the, the, a, another mediocre or bad Halo game, a less than stellar Halo game? Oh, uh, well, you're that you're the studio called Halo team who can't even release a good Halo game. That don't look good. So that's that's the kind of perspective that I look at it from. Um, but it's good that there, it seems to like it's a sign that they're doubling down on their focus to really bring Halo back uh, to its um, to its former glory, I guess. The next thing is they're switching to Unreal Engine 5. This is something that's been rumored for a while. Uh, so Halo Studios is shifting from their proprietary slip space engine to Unreal Engine 5. This move comes after technical challenges with Slip Space Engine during the development of Halo Infinite, which led to delays and post-launch issues. I was never, you know, super impressed with the Slip Space Engine. Uh, a lot of people, you know, wanted them to move on fr from it. Um, I do think, you know, because Unreal Engine is, it is the most popular engine, or it might be second most popular. Um, and, you know, the tools and the support, you just get a lot more tools and support uh, with, with N Unreal Engine 5 and it's a lot easier. You know, I think like they said, Microsoft uh, and, you know, their development teams work with a lot of contractors. So it's easy for like the just people, a lot of different people, contractors, people in the studio to just work on um, this engine that's a lot more familiar to certain people and for all of them to be on the same accord. Um, and Unreal, Unreal Engine 5 obviously looks great. There is some concern there as we've seen. Um, with recent Unreal Engine games, uh, problems with frame pacing, stutters, just 
optimization issues. So it's not all great there, but it's probably, you know, there's some growing pains there still with Unreal Engine 5 that need to be cleaned up. But I still think this is a better, eng a better uh, option than staying with slip space. What I wonder is with the future of Halo games, because, oh shit, I don't even have the, have the information here. They said they were remaking something, right? What, what, they said they're remaking something uh, with Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I think I saw that. They're moving to it. Um, but I think they said they're also, and they did release like a, a video, some mock-ups, and some of the people see the images, the renders, and, and that doesn't mean that's exactly how the game is going to look. It's going to look amazing, I'm sure. But some of the renders look a little bit awkward to some people. That's partially because it's just a render. It's not in-game, I believe, yet of what, it, what they designed it to be in-game yet. It's just mock-ups. And that also could be part of the, the fact that we're just not used to seeing Halo look like that. So is a is it looks a bit awkward when when you see it. Um so yeah, I overall think it's uh it's a good thing. But what I'm concerned about is and I've talked about this in my in like previous videos is is Halo going to continue to play the same? Because I know the purists and the OGs, you know, some of them are not the most open-minded to kind of drastic changes in the way Halo plays. But I think I've been saying that's something I believe if you want a wider audience on Halo, aside from, and I'm not going to get in, in too deep about, you know, it being on PlayStation and all that. Do I think it'll Halo will eventually come to PlayStation? Probably, but I'm not one of those people who's like betting or counting or waiting on that. I think it'll just probably happened based on Microsoft's pattern. And if this is a new age of Halo, they probably want to have it in as many people's hands um, as, as possible. And what, aside from PC, what has a, uh, a greater base than, than PlayStation, right? I guess Switch. I mean, listen, maybe we see it on Switch because the, the next Switch is going to be more powerful also. I don't know. But I'm not here to speculate, that, speculate about that. I don't I just don't think Halo can continue to play exactly the same as it as it has been because that just does not appeal to a the younger generation of gamers and you're going to need an uh an injection of newer gamers. Halo cannot continue to thrive and it and it hasn't been off of the 30 to 40 year olds who grew up on it. We, like it's not enough. Those people are not enough, right? People love Halo, but the problem is the people that love Halo are of a certain demographic and a certain age at this point because it has failed to continue to just uh, grab the, the younger audience. Um, and a lot of the older audience has, has like fell off of it as well. So that's why you see that, that's where you where you saw the, you know, just the downfall, uh, the decline of halo's popularity um and once again i said in my last video listen i get it when you start off with a with a game from from the very first game you don't want to see these new people dictate uh what it becomes and, and know how it changed i understand that but for also for survival you as a fan you gotta understand oh it has to change or it's gonna die so they're like I'm interested to see with this engine, d does new changes come to gameplay? Because I don't think it could just play. I don't think Halo can just continue to play ha how it is, except it's just an Unreal Engine 5 now. That's not going to save it. That's not going to give it more juice. I don't think that's going to be enough. I, I don't. Um, I'm not saying abandon it completely what Halo is, but it is gonna ha they're going to have to figure something out. Whether it's just movement, shooting, gameplay, something has to change there so that it's more appealing to a somewhat wider audience, right? Um, it just has to. That, that's what I think. Uh, so the studio has been working on internal research, a re, a internal research initiative called Project Foundry. To explore the capabilities of Unreal Engine 5 for the Halo universe, tech demos include environments like snowy biomes, 
um, as well as iconic characters like Master Chief. Uh, impact on development by adopting Unreal Engine 5, Halo Studios hopes to streamline development across multiple projects, so they're working on multiple games, improve visual fidelity, and focus on core gameplay elements. Um, and I've seen like mixed fan reception about this, mostly positive, but some people are, you know, just worry, worried about all these changes. Like I said, the purists, they're worried about any type of change. And, you know, people, some people are very slow to adapt to change. Like, oh, this isn't Halo. This isn't my Halo, not my Halo. You know, that type of shit happens to all games that that change, um, do some type of overhaul. Uh, you know, it, it, it happens. But to, to survive, you got to you got to adapt. So it is what it is. Um, but I, I am curious to see, you know, what they do um, on the new engine. And like I said, mainly. Uh, with the gameplay they got to do some new things they got to do some creative ideas it can't i just don't think it could play the same it, i don't think that'll uh be enough um people are still maybe like thinking about this battle royale mode that may come and everything like that cool i think that would be a, a great idea if they do that um but I think similar to how we've seen with other franchises that have that have been long running and eventually they look at that franchise and say, OK, we have to overhaul how this gameplay works. Yeah, we've seen it with many franchises after a long period of time. I think they got to do the same thing with Halo. So I'm interested to see what they do. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what y'all think about all this. And um, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.